If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribing helps support the channel and you'll stay updated with the latest videos. Click the subscribe button below if you want to see more content like this. Welcome back, everyone. Today we have an exciting crossover for you. We'll be exploring the world of Naruto and the notorious Akatsuki organization, but with a twist. We'll be assigning the members of the Akatsuki to the Seven Deadly Sins. First up, we have Lust, the sin of intense desire. And who better to embody this sin than Kisame Hoshigaki? With his insatiable hunger for battle and thirst for power, Kisame is a perfect fit for lust. Akatsuki member Kisame Hoshigaki. Known for his shark-like appearance and immense strength, embodies the sin of lust. His insatiable hunger for battle and his thirst for power make him a fitting representation of this sin. Kisame's desire to engage in combat and his obsession with proving his strength align with the lustful nature of this sin. Kisame Hoshigaki Known for his insatiable hunger for battle and power, Kisame embodies the sin of lust within the Akatsuki. His intense desire and relentless pursuit of strength make him a formidable opponent. Kisame's insatiable hunger for battle and power embodies the sin of lust within the Akatsuki. His relentless pursuit of strength and his intense desire for challenging opponents make him a fearsome member of the organization. Next, we have gluttony, the sin of overindulgence. Haydn takes the spotlight here. His sadistic tendencies, immortality, and obsession with pain and suffering make him the epitome of gluttony. Akatsuki member, Haydn. With his immortality and sadistic tendencies, personifies the sin of gluttony. His insatiable appetite for pain and suffering, as well as his obsession with bloodshed and violence, make him a perfect embodiment of this sin. Haidan's ritualistic practices and his delight in inflicting pain on others reflect the gluttonous nature of this sin. Haidan personifies the sin of gluttony within the Akatsuki. His sadistic nature and obsession with pain and suffering make him an ideal match for this sin. Haidan indulges in his own immortality and revels in the violent rituals he performs. Haidan personifies the sin of gluttony within the Akatsuki. His sadistic nature and obsession with pain and suffering make him a perfect match for this sin. Hidan indulges in his own immortality and takes pleasure in inflicting pain on his enemies. <laughs> Moving on to greed, the sin of excessive desire for wealth and power. Kakuzu, with his money-driven mindset and willingness to manipulate others, perfectly represents this sin within the Akatsuki. Greed, Akatsuki member Kakuzu. A money-driven and opportunistic individual represents the sin of greed within the Akatsuki. His primary motivation is greed for wealth, and he is willing to go to great lengths to accumulate money and treasures. Kakuzu's ability to manipulate and use others for his own gain aligns with the greedy nature of this sin. Avaricious and money-driven, Kakuzu is the embodiment of greed within the Akatsuki, his desire for wealth and power drives him to manipulate others and take advantage of any opportunity that presents itself. Kakuzu is the embodiment of greed within the Akatsuki. Driven by his avarice and money-driven mindset, he is always seeking ways to accumulate wealth and power. Kakuzu's willingness to manipulate others and his mercenary nature reflect his greedy tendencies. Now let's talk about sloth, the sin of laziness and inaction. Zetsu fits the bill here. With his passive demeanor and ability to blend into his surroundings, Zetsu observes events without interfering, embodying sloth. Akatsuki member, Zetsu. A mysterious and enigmatic member of the Akatsuki, embodies the sin of sloth. His passive and laid-back demeanor, combined with his ability to blend into his surroundings and observe without interfering, reflect the slothful nature of this sin. Zetsu's tendency to remain stationary and watch events unfold without taking action aligns with the slothful characteristics of this sin. 
represents the sin of sloth within the Akatsuki. With his passive demeanor and ability to blend into his surroundings, he observes events without taking much action. Zetsu's role is often to gather information and spy on others. Zetsu represents the sin of sloth within the Akatsuki. With his passive demeanor and ability to blend into his surroundings, he observes events without taking much action. Zetsu's primary role is to gather information and serve as a spy for the organization. Wrath, the sin of uncontrollable anger, is personified by Sasori. His deep resentment, thirst for revenge, and his mastery of puppetry reflect the wrathful nature of this sin. Wrath, a Katsuki member, Sasori. A master puppeteer who harbors deep resentment and anger represents the sin of wrath. His desire for revenge and his obsession with turning humans into puppets reflect the wrathful nature of this sin. Sasori's cold and calculating demeanor, combined with his destructive abilities, make him a fitting embodiment of this sin, reflects the sin of wrath within the Akatsuki. Consumed by deep resentment and a thirst for revenge, Sasori's mastery of puppetry allows him to channel his anger into deadly battles. His creations serve as vessels for his wrathful nature. Sasori reflects the sin of wrath within the Akatsuki. Consumed by deep resentment and a thirst for revenge, Sasori channels his anger through his mastery of puppetry. His creations serve as vessels for his wrathful nature, making him a formidable opponent. Moving on to Envy, the sin of jealousy. Itachi Uchiha is our pick here. Itachi's jealousy towards his brother Sasuke and his inner conflict make him a compelling embodiment of envy within the Akatsuki. Embodies the sin of envy within the Akatsuki. His jealousy towards his brother Sasuke and his inner conflict make him a complex character. Itachi's struggles with his emotions and the choices he made fuel the envy within him. Envy, Akatsuki member. Itachi Uchiha. A complex character driven by his past and a desire for peace embodies the sin of envy. Itachi's jealousy towards his brother Sasuke and his inner conflict regarding his role in the Uchiha clan's downfall align with the envious nature of this sin. Itachi's constant pursuit of power and his willingness to sacrifice his own happiness for the sake of others reflect the envious characteristics of this sin. Itachi embodies the sin of envy within the Akatsuki. His complex character is driven by jealousy towards his brother Sasuke and his inner conflict. Itachi's struggles with his emotions and his choices fuel the envy within him, making him a captivating character. Last but not least, we have pride, the sin of excessive self-importance. And who better to represent this sin than Pain, also known as Nagato Uzumaki? Pain's unwavering belief in his ideology and his desire to impose his vision of peace reflect the proud nature of this sin. Pride, Akatsuki leader, Pain Nagato Uzumaki, personifies the sin of pride within the Akatsuki. With unwavering belief in his ideology and a desire to impose his vision of peace on the world, Payne displays an overwhelming sense of self-importance. His leadership and imposing presence command respect from his peers. Payne, also known as Nagato Uzumaki, serves as the leader of the Akatsuki and represents the sin of pride. His unwavering belief in his own ideology and his desire to impose his vision of peace upon the world reflect the proud nature of this sin. Payne's confidence, leadership, and the conviction that he alone knows what is best for the world make him a suitable embodiment of this sin. The Sin of Pride Within the Akatsuki With unwavering belief in his ideology and a desire to impose his vision of peace on the world, Payne displays an overwhelming sense of self-importance. His leadership and imposing presence command respect from his peers. And there you have it, the seven deadly sins as characters from the Akatsuki. What an intriguing combination. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments which Deadly Sin and Akatsuki member pairing you found the most interesting. Until next time, stay tuned for more exciting crossovers.